Rider Pride! Hello everybody out there in YouTube Nation and the interwebs. Hope everybody's keeping healthy and staying safe. She's a another cold day here in Saskatchewan. It's not really spring, has not sprung here yet. Like look at that. Solid, solid ice. Just like walking on a skating rink out here. It's crazy. It's like walking on on some solid ground. Crazy icy, eh? Yeah, I didn't come prepared. I got spikes and didn't bring them. Yeah, I got mine on. It helps a little bit, that's no, for sure. Know. Gives you a little stability. You sure? Take care. Yeah, you too. Yeah, like that guy said, <laughs> gotta have the cleats on. It's just pure ice out here. Pure ice. Hard walking, hard on my old hips and knees. I took my knee braces off thinking I would give my hips a break, but strategy didn't work. Gets pretty sore walking in this uneven ground. But anyway, what we got to talk about today? <coughs> got the bit of news in the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. They signed uh, another defensive back. It's gonna be a ton of them at camp. It's gonna be a lot to choose from, that's for sure. Keep adding those DBs to Marcus Fields. Another guy around 200 pounds got NFL experience too. So it's gonna be a lot of good competition. You know what that means good competition should be able to find yourself a couple good uh, DBs and uh, gonna need them. a couple of guys that didn't even come back they didn't even bring them back and old Marshall he got himself in trouble glad he didn't make it back anyway that's about all the news and the, the uh, riders Except for their now in the CFL they got the rule changes. I brought that up last video and about a month ago already there was rumors of this happening and now it's coming around and that's what they're trying to decide now. <coughs> Boy it's slippery here. But they're trying to decide that now and uh the NFL looks like they've adopted the, uh, the old XFL kickoff rules. So I think it's, I don't know. Overall, this whole thing, I think it's stupid. Crazy, crazy to change the rules, especially in the CFL, which that's what makes our league different. Like the NFL had to do something. Their kickoffs were ridiculous. And I still think even with this rule, they're not moving the, it back any farther. The kicker, they're still I think, kicking it from the 35. Well, big deal. That's not gonna make any difference for them. I don't know what their rulings is. They're just gonna boot it in the end zone anyway. Most of their kickers can kick it from there. Some of them almost put it through the field goal post. So, Regardless, that's not going to really change much unless they can make it land in this zone from the goal line to the 20-yard line and then they spot it at different spots, but I guess we'll see, but to me, I think it's crazy for the CFL to do anything. Now, I understand the, the implications of injuries but 
you know it's a contact sport and that's what's gonna happen you know I hope they don't go with the NFL they're looking at another rule with this tackling talk about stupid they want this rule where they they bring them down with the weight of their body that it's a penalty now how in the hell are they gonna to um, monitor that and call a, a, don't make sense to me you know you watch any game and uh, it must happen a third of the tackles you know like how are you gonna catch a guy from behind without grabbing him and pulling him down with your body weight that's what it's about pulling him down with their body weight and landing on their ankles and, and hurting their knees well what next you know they're gonna have uh, uh, no receivers running across diagonal across the field too much chance of injury you know uh, it's crazy I hope the CFL doesn't even consider anything like that but they like watching their big buddies down so you know I wouldn't doubt if we go to what the same rules the NFL will be the guinea pig we you know, start before them you know yeah it just doesn't make any sense I guess that's about all that's really happening in this CFL till this rule change go by I, I haven't heard of any other major changes or, or tweaks to the rules but it's just that main one is the, the kickoff but, you know it, how are you with this time go back to this tackling how are you gonna tackle half the time a majority of your tackles are grabbing them and pulling them down leaving your feet and pulling them down you know like they couldn't monitor that how is the refs gonna call that I guess the players association in, in the NFL have said no but you know they see the problems it makes it pretty hard for the players this is gonna end up being a flag football leagues basically you know how the hell are they going to monitor something like that? Anyway, uh, you're going to have to grab the guy and, like, you're marshaling a person to their seat at a wedding, take them to the sidelines. Over this way, you can't go any farther. <laughs> I don't know, folks. This society is getting more and more soft and same thing happening in hockey you know there a lot of people saying take the fights out of hockey oh god it doesn't hurt a thing i've never been at a hockey game yet where they said oh the fans started booing when a fight broke out you know it's the exact opposite you get people going a little bit crazy standing up and cheering they don't get up and boo, that's for sure. You know, like, hockey has its place, and I know it's crazy. There's no more guys that are just out there to, to fight like the old days. Like, it's the same thing in hockey. They're giving penalties to people going across the middle and getting hit. You know, a lot of times the guy gets a penalty because he really clobbered them. And a lot of them are legal hits, but oh, the do-gooders and the do-gooder ref calls a penalty for hitting them too damn hard. Like that was standard. You went across the middle, keep your bloody head up, or you know you're gonna get smacked. Uh, today's hockey, I, here nor there, I like the speed. That's basically what it is. There's not a lot of clobber until the playoffs start. You know, especially regular season. They could put the no-hit rule in. 
But now, you, anybody that watches hockey, you'll see that now all of a sudden, there are lots of uh, belting and hitting and boarding and you name it. Uh, it's just the way society is going though. And they don't want it violence. And uh, I don't know. I like the speed in hockey. That's the style of players there is now. And it's the same in football. You know, like these football players, they're bigger, stronger, faster. You're gonna get injuries. You got some massive guys playing against each other. And you're gonna get hurt. Someone's gonna get hurt. Especially if you're a smaller dude and you're getting bashed by somebody that another time size bigger than you. Well, uh, well enough of that. Be a short video. I just wanted to talk about that stupid kickoff rule chain. Uh, if a CFL wants to take this whole timer's vote, it's no. Leave it alone. You know, one thing if they did change it, you know, there's not a lot of full returns on the kickoffs. Like, get yeah, punt returns are probably when they punt the ball, you probably get more run backs on the punt than you do on a kickoff. But, uh, still leave it alone. At least we don't have a stupid fair catch like they do in the United States. Ridiculous rule, too. Might as well not punt it. I can see that. That'll never change down there. They'll have the fair catch. They're even doing it on kickoffs. Anyway. Uh, what else? Saw the CFL combine ended. And I have to congratulate the CFL on that. At least they tried to get some availability for the public to watch it. Could get it on a stream. And uh, that's a good thing. More time you get showing people can watch on the tube is the better. Better for the game. I will say that about college football. Somehow they've got to talk to the TSN and the CBC and get our college game on television. You know, instead of broadcasting a lot of crap they do, they've got all these channels. They could put at least one game a week on the on the uh, local broadcast or the national broadcast. Because we got a lot of good ball to get played in the university sports. And uh, you get to see what can come, people that are coming up in the CFL that could possibly play in the CFL. And you get that interest. That's exactly what happens in the States. People follow their college player. He gets drafted by the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. They start watching the Philadelphia Eagles. This just makes sense. Anyway, that's enough of my ranting for today. As you can see, I'm pretty fed up with this bloody weather already. Had it. And it's just terrible. They say, we got a snowstorm coming in this weekend. What's with this? Used to be in like a bear out or in like a lion out like a lamb. Well, it came in like a lion for the massive snowstorm when we got all this snow. Now it looks like it's going out with a snowstorm. So, so much for the weathermen. You know, I should have been a weatherman. What kind of job can you be up 50% right all and still keep your job? Not many. Anyway, I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, please comment down below what you think of this stupid kickoff rule situation happening and, and anything else. I love reading the comments and uh, I always answer back. There's no stupid or smart smart comments. They're both. They got there. You're a comment. And that's the way it is. Everybody's got a view. That's for sure. Look at this old timer. I got too many of them at times. Anyway, 
till next time i uh, hope you all stay safe and and healthy and uh talk to you next time go riders go